Hello, and welcome to We Can Do It. Our guest today is a wonderful actor and singer and dancer and craft enthusiast and French toast maker and a wonderful friend. He's been in great movies like Chicago and Magnolia and Buggy Nights and Step Brothers and lots of other amazing movies. He also made a legendary appearance as the Easter Bunny at his son's preschool where all the children, including his own son, believed he was the actual Easter Bunny. Introducing our guest today, John C. Riley. Hi, Becky. Hi, John. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. Amazing. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Yes, we So, John, can you tell us about your um, appearance as the Easter Bunny where you dressed up? And yes. Well, it was when my kids were really small. My son, who was in this school at the time, was probably four. Mm-hmm. In that wonderful time before children realized that illusion and reality are two different things. Mm-hmm. And they asked me to be the Easter Bunny. I think I might have even volunteered to be the Easter Bunny. Mm-hmm. And so they, but they said, oh, but we have a costume. So go in the storage room, you'll see the costume. And I went in there, and there was a big fluffy suit and this enormous head that you put on top of your head with these big ears. And I thought, well, that's a shame. Like, I have such an expressive face. I'm going to put this thing on, and they're going to know that's fake. Yeah. If it's just this not moving, you know, like you see in a shopping mall or whatever yeah so I was like well I'll take the furry suit mm-hmm. but I'm not going to use the head I'll make my own head mm-hmm. so I got this little like little hat I think it might like been like a girl's hat or something mm-hmm. that was just a fluffy little hat with ears mm-hmm. that you could still see my face like this and then so I used to be a clown uh-huh. when I was a kid I was I did real clowning like um, I had a couple of different clown characters, so I didn't know about clown makeup. So I just put white clown makeup all over my face, I put this little bunny hat on, and I made my nose pink, mm-hmm. and I put fake buck teeth in the front. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I did whiskers. Maybe I put a couple of whiskers like that, mm-hmm. but, but maybe not. Mm-hmm. And then I put. I thought, well, what what does the Easter Bunny represent? And I was like, well, it's really springtime, mm-hmm. right? So I got a green vest, mm-hmm. a little green vest, and put like a sprig of flowers and weeds and stuff that I found shooting out of the pocket of it. And then I got, and then I was like, I wanted to be as realistic as it could be, mm-hmm. <laughs> even though I was the Easter Bunny. And I was like, rabbits have enormous feet. <laughs> like rabbits' feet in relation to their bodies are, should be much bigger than a human's foot. So, it's funny you mentioned the movie Chicago. I have the costume of Mr. Cellophane oh. from the movie Chicago. And part of it are these enormous clown shoes that look like leather men's shoes, but they're like that big, you know, twice as big as my feet. Mm-hmm. So I put those on, put the furry suit on, the green vest, the sprig of flowers, the white face with the teeth, and this hat with these ears. And I came out, oh, I had white gloves on too, or maybe mittens that look like paws. And I was hopping around, and the kids were like, it was incredible. All these kids coming up to me and, like, looking into my face, like, hello, Easter Bunny. Like, they couldn't believe it. They could, and then I was like, now we're going to hop. I'm going to give you give you hopping lessons. And I talked in this weird high voice. And <laughs> we're hopping around this preschool, giving them hopping lessons. <laughs> then I sat, and then I just, like, had a little, a little, I just sat on this rock, and I let whoever wanted to come up to me, come up to me, because some kids were... Afraid and but most of them were just really curious, and one of the first kids to come up was my own son, who, who I thought, well, this is going to be the, the one kid who's going to like blow my cover will be my son, and right. it was such a beautiful moment I'll never forget it. He looked straight into my eyes, and said, "Hello, Easter Bunny." And, and he really believed that I was the Easter Bunny. All I had was white makeup on my face and a little pink nose, like. And he was looking right at me and said, hello, he's been, and I was like, oh, and, and, uh, and then he went off after we had this beautiful little exchange, he went off and one of his friends was like, 
I think I know who the Easter Bunny is. I think it's your dad. And then <laughs> he came back, and then he was like, Hello, Easter Bunny. <laughs> I really tried to believe that I was the Easter Bunny that afternoon. I really tried to think like him, and anything I did had to make sense in his world, in the Easter Bunny's world. And that kind of translates, you know? Mm -hmm.